the power of God, I, I don't know, but there are people God is raising to become mighty vessels. I just saw an anointing rest on you, this role. In the name of Jesus, I don't know where you are, but I pray may that grace now, let it rest upon you and shift you to a new dimension. In the name of Jesus Christ. Welcome to Christocentric Message. On this channel, you are going to get soul-lifting messages, faith-based content, prayer drills, and videos that would help you grow spiritually. Remember to subscribe to the channel, like the video you are about to watch, and comment on it. Stay blessed. When someone holds a master's certificate or a PhD or another certification somewhere, why are they happy to celebrate those milestones? It gives them a perception of growth. Luke 2 and verse 52. Even in fact, when you read from verse 49 to 52, Jesus himself, passionate about growth, the Bible does not leave us in the dark. He went as a teenager. The Bible says he was at the temple learning, building his mind satisfying that need and that craving for growth and the father and the mother joseph and mary went around looking for him when they found him at the temple he said unto them how is it that ye sought for me wish not that i must be about my father's business verse 50 the bible says and they understood not the saying which he spoke unto them 51 and he went down with them and came to Nazareth and was subject unto them. But his mother kept these things in her heart. 52, popular scripture. And Jesus increased. Say increased. In wisdom, he increased in stature physically. He increased in favor with God and with men. Everybody say growth. Growth is very powerful. I do not know anybody, no matter how critical, who does not celebrate any major milestone in his life. People celebrate birthdays, people celebrate anniversaries. Why? Because it culminates to growth. As a man of God, if you have 10 members and God brings five more, you are careful to celebrate and say, thank God for this. The concept of ingathering has come to stay in the body of Christ. Yes, because we want souls saved. But in truth, in addition to that, it is the, the instinct for growth. Everything that is alive grows. Now, not to get you offended, there are children who have medical conditions that impede their growth in one area or the other or their overall stature. You find out that you can see a child who is three years old, four years old, and then maybe because of some deformity or some, you know, health issue, the child cannot grow properly. It is a concern to any responsible parent. Is that true? How many of you have seen children, again, respectfully, who um maybe they had to repeat certain classes maybe primary one primary two and the child is there for three years four years and you find out that people come and say what kind of a child are you you will now say your colleagues are in primary five or something and you are still here and the child feels bad because the child wants to increase the child wants to grow so number one security number two variety and or dynamism number three significance acknowledgement number four love and acceptance number five growth and increase are you ready for the last number six impact and contribution the sixth craving in all humans regardless who is the craving to know that your life is counting that you are living an impactful life and you are contributing towards a cause let me tell you this this sixth craving is so serious this is one of the root causes of um violence that is accelerated in many 
underdeveloped nations because most young people are they want to be part of a cause part of something and because they are idle there's nothing the moment they see that there is something that catches the attention of media everybody wants to be part of it whether it is election whether it is whatever it is they want to be part of anything happening that there is that that dopamine feeling of relevance that feeling of knowing that i'm doing something my life is counting for something hallelujah there is nobody who does not want his life to count i can tell you this in all of the messages and all of this that people send the most touching for me is apostle thank you i listened to your teaching it changed my life now i love the lord more now i'm passionate uh, about the things of the kingdom or your teaching has brought me knowledge you know why it gives me joy yes jesus is glorified but it gives me joy because i can through that text message it can give me a basis to say thank god my life is counting there is nobody who wants to live as a non-entity to know that your life is not counting how many people have resigned from jobs because they felt that they were being underutilized they felt there's nothing i'm doing here i think i'm worth more in terms of impact than this it's not about the salary i'm not doing anything i just sit down and sign documents whether i come to work or not my salary is there i don't think i am productive they say but what is really driving them is the fact that they want their lives to count when we acknowledge people we begin to list some of the things they have done that has blessed us so 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 and so man he has blessed me he's changed my life as a businessman he's mentored me as a lecturer as a man of god and you see the people rejoice and give glory to god but then you can see that fulfillment because their lives count now i will tell you why i listed all of these things all that we seek for all that we look for all that we work for all that we pray for is hidden in these six things believe me when i tell you every single one prayer request written here during the miracle service every single desire that brought you to the house of god no matter how you want to twist it spiritual from a psychological standpoint is an attempt to draw into your life one of these six cravings let me repeat myself all that we seek for all that we look for all that we fight for all that we work for and all that we pray for is hidden in these six psychological needs this is very powerful write this down please nothing physical this is a sad news but it's also a deliverance for someone now nothing physical or material in itself can ever give you fulfillment nothing physical or material in itself can ever give you fulfillment what a deliverance what a deliverance what a deliverance that nothing physical or nothing material in itself can ever give you fulfillment back to my illustration when i started teaching remember the young boy remember the married man remember the career person remember the old man no wonder in spite of their various levels of achievements one thing that still remains in their life is the need for fulfillment as a young boy as a student as a graduate as a married man as a father as a grandfather as a career person as an expert as a poor person as a millionaire as a billionaire as an enlightened person as a successful man of god the same thread runs through all of these people a craving that many do not understand so watch this we invented various ways of trying to fulfill this craving i can tell you that is the principal cause of frustration in today's world 
is god speaking to someone the principal cause of frustration many people live lives that are frustrated today and you will ask them what they are looking for and they cannot really articulate what is driving them what are they looking for they think they are looking for a car they think they are looking for a house or a bigger house they think they are looking for a husband or a wife they think they are looking for twins or triplets please listen very carefully believe me when i tell you nothing physical and nothing material has been authorized by god to give anybody fulfillment none of it has the power to give you fulfillment wow not your certificate not your marriage not your children not the cars you buy not the titles don't get me wrong i'm not saying these things are not useful but i'm interpreting for you the thing you are really looking for you think it is a car that you are looking for i'm giving you an advance notice you will find that car and only rejoice for a very short time that's why we enjoy things that are new and then they stop giving us fulfillment remember when you bought the suv you smiled and gave god glory danced around it and snapped it it's in your house but you wanted it to be within your sight four months later on it's not fixed and you don't care what changed you found out that it did not have the ability you thought it deceived you jesus you're the cup that won't run dry treasure of my heart and of my soul in my weakness you are merciful redeemer of my past and present wrong you're the holder of my future days to come this is very powerful for who is like you lord and all the earth much less love you the endless world hallelujah man of god i know you think what you are looking for is more members you are sincere but that is not what you are looking for what seekest thou my dear sister i know you are trusting god to have children it is your obsession and it is your prayer lord if only you will give me children and take away this shame you are sincere but let me announce to you in advance that is truly not what you are looking for you are only looking for it because you suspect there is something in it i'm going behind your physical desires to tell you what you are really looking for can i tell you not knowing this is the reason why respectfully speaking many homes are broken and scattered the man is saying i hate you every time you fight anybody in your life let me tell you what you are fighting i don't care what is the subject matter what you are really fighting is a violation of these things you hate people to the degree to which they violate your agenda to having one or more of these six so when the woman looks at the man and says you are a stupid man i regret marrying you you are a devil from the pit of hell shift all that english what is she saying you have robbed me of, of an opportunity to feel secured you have robbed me of an opportunity to feel significant you have robbed me of an opportunity to feel accepted you have pegged unlimited growth in my life it is a all of our english is just a way of trying to express this cry when a man of god is frustrated and say lord anoint me what is he saying lord give me what will take away shame from my life he's saying now he thinks he just wants soul saved and he's right but why does he need the anointing that he will lock up himself for 40 days what does the anointing do to him he knows that when the anointing is there the sick will be healed oppressed people will be delivered and inevitably 
the lord himself will increase his influence so he would have significance he would have acceptance are you seeing now when you buy a car why do you rejoice i will tell you you are too smart to rejoice over a metal it is not the metal that is giving you joy you think it is the car that is giving you joy that car is spelling something to your psychology significance that car may make a group now finally accept you what you are really looking for is not a car i bring you an interpretation so that we'll find rest from this endless mundane pursuit most people don't know what they are looking for remember what seekest thou because the professor finds out that he's still frustrated like the one who just has ssc the married man is still frustrated as the unmarried man the barren woman is still frustrated as the person with eight children the billionaire is still frustrated as the one whose business has died so what are you really looking for nigeria lost at the stadium now i'm not i'm not a footballer i'm a patriotic citizen why did people get angry people cried like they lost loved ones what did they really lose yes thank god for all of the name but to you what hurt you so bad that you lost your appetite was it really the ball do you like a round object that much no you were hoping that that result will help to give you a little dopamine feeling that you are in an environment that works and since it did not happen it reinforced again the fact that you might truly be a failure when people are getting married why do they cry that they don't have money is money a condition really for marriage everything is in place no cake no suit and they are crying the priest is there your parents are there why are you really crying i will tell you because that is a moment in a lifetime where you can rub off your significance and force anybody who has looked down on you to know that this is a day that is exclusively to me and now finances wants to bust your tire and you are angry and say no the devil is a liar it will lead you to pray it will lead you to fast no If you receive a transfer of 100 million naira now listen listen say amen why did you say amen listen if i had said if you sow a seed of one million naira you will not fight me because sowing is spiritual but you will not say amen for that kind of prayer especially if you know you really have that kind of money let god turns it into a, an instruction and says you should give that money true true now but i said you would receive a hundred million naira now watch this let's examine it what is a hundred million naira a figure written online that you can read or a piece of paper no they represent something that seem to draw a line through this psychological needs from security to variety to acceptance are we together to significance that is why you really want the money when you get a good job why do you suddenly the person you were saying yes sir you don't feel a need to say yes sir again and you are not afraid what changed we use different terminologies in our world level has changed you are firm you know all those kinds of things you know it but i'm telling you that listen that's what you are looking for why are you angry when people forget your birthday did they kill you did they blackmail you so why are you angry over something that happens in just 24 hours why do you take it personal that after 10 years you are still angry and you transfer that anger to the children this thing is very serious because there are many of us 
who they gave birth to us in the midst of two people's heads being joined together you don't even know the story you just know that you arrived and met fire from both sides what is the cause of this hatred between my fam father or my family or and you don't know and trace all of that trouble it is one of these six things i will never forgive you till jesus comes what you are trying to say is you did something that gave me a perception that was against my desire for any of these six things now when you look at me and you say apostle you're a good man i like you what are you saying you are saying either through your life or through your teachings you have been able to help me achieve this goal of being and feeling secured creating a variety in my life sometimes i'm preaching and i'm very serious and yet you laugh why are you laughing that one minute of variety adds spice to the thing while i'm still serious and shouting here you are laughing because you are enjoying what i'm saying variety amazing the worship team they come and stand here and it is true that they are singing a song about jesus salvation the cross and still they will have to package that song using variety if they sang what they sang week before last next week by the other week they are singing it even them they'll know it's not blessing you again even if the whole song is jesus jesus lamb of god you died for me it will still not bless you because there was no variety in it why do you invite so many music ministers when it's the same person they are all talking about you want them to talk about that person in as many ways biologists and nutritionists will tell us that this food has vitamin c this one has vitamin c and yet all your body needs is vitamin c but you will want to carry the various forms of it you will not eat orange alone all the days of your life and you want to add something else even though what your body needs is just the vitamin c for instance you will still want it to come in another expression listen to me let me repeat something i said that nothing physical and nothing material in itself can and will ever give you fulfillment i i assure you on this it is the reason why we seem to make it and yet become frustrated you would think a man of god having a large membership and having the power and the anointing of god and a great grace for revelation should never have any concern in his life again unfortunately that is not so you will think a billionaire and a millionaire should never have any concern in his life again unfortunately that is not so what seekest thou please look at me my brother it is not a car you are looking for give yourself rest it is not twins or triplets you are looking for give yourself rest it is not another job you are really looking for give yourself rest i can tell you what you are looking for is a craving for security what you are looking for is a craving for dynamism and variety what you are looking for is a craving for significance and acknowledgement what you are looking for is a craving for acceptance and love what you are looking for is a craving for growth an increase and advancement what you are looking for is an honest opportunity for your life to at least count hmm. write this down all physical things that we seek all physical things that we seek are only expressions and conveyors of a deeper spiritual and psychological longing 
I'll take it again. All physical things that we seek are only expressions and conveyors of a deeper spiritual and psychological longing. Through that car, you hope to find something else. Through that marriage, you hope to find something else. Through the increase, you hope to find something else. Through the anointing, you hope to find something else. Through the political position, you hope to find something else. Do you know why I'm helping you? I'm helping you with this teaching so that as you seek to have physical things around you, you will have it at the back of your mind that nothing in itself that I have or ever have will give me what I'm truly looking for so you can enjoy the physical blessings by having this knowledge that if it is fulfillment i am looking for these are not the things that will give it to me that way you can become wealthy and wise you can become exceptional and wise why your wisdom comes in knowing that none of these things in themselves can give me fulfillment then you start looking for what will really give you security in a deeper way what will really give you variety in a deeper way what will really give you acceptance in a deeper way look up please can i tell you this if you don't answer this question and trust god to help you as a husband you will find yourself beating your wife every day and if they ask you why are you really beating this woman you will say she does not cook well if they probe you you too will say honestly i don't know why I will tell you you are you are hurting somebody because of something you are looking for and because that is the obvious scapegoat around you you will land it on the person using the guise of any story same thing with wife you can turn and say my husband is not responsible and then after you cry and you are done they say what are you really looking for and you say I don't know I can tell you what you are looking for you are looking for what money cannot give you are looking for what marriage cannot give you are looking for what employment cannot give you are looking for what entrepreneurship cannot give you are looking for what a designer cannot give you are looking for what travels across the globe cannot give genesis 37 and verse 15 please give it to us hmm. and a certain man found you rigma rolling around life and a certain man found you with a pile of enemies on your blacklist and they say what, what is all this about and he said what are you really looking for why do you have enemies everywhere you go from this company you had enemies from that company you have enemies look at the kind of person i am i don't allow anybody insult me what are you really saying i have a problem and I'm here to deal with it. So the obvious is to blame anybody I can blame. Can I tell you, when you have a problem with too many people, the problem is you. Because you interpret life from the lens of your own limitation. When you have a problem in Lagos, Abuja, London, Kaduna, UK, the problem is you. Nothing physical. I remember a story of a man whose car got burned and the man killed himself i wonder what you will find out where he will find out how foolish he was by killing himself because the car got burned now i don't mean to insult you let me tell you why the man killed himself because that car burning seemed to have an impact on his mind based on the awareness that my self-worth is tied to this reality and now that that car has gone what will my family people think of me can i tell you this if you understand this message i am teaching you it will bring you permanent deliverance you will strive to be successful but you will know that there is something greater than success so you will not postpone your joy till the day you build the mansion you will start rejoicing today if they ask you why you will say i know that even my 10 years 
it's not what will give me joy and fulfillment no The narrative that most people have, and I say this respectfully, the narrative that most people have, especially in Africa, unfortunately, is a narrative that has been sold by social media, is that the moment you have money, remember the one million thing I said, God bless you, and you shouted amen. The moment you have money, especially lots of it, your respect, your esteem, everything you have photos of people with all kinds of priority vehicles there around wearing designers the latest this and there is a craving in you i must get it anyhow let me give you an advice before time there was one who already got it before you hear what that person said vanity upon vanity now you have to understand the person who the bible says was speaking the bible did not call him a businessman the bible called him a preacher he's saying where you are hoping to get to i have already gotten there i can tell you there is nothing there in itself this is not a call to a life of mediocrity and carelessness it would challenge you to aspire to get your dreams and your goals but let me tell you sincerely as you seek to become all that god has created you to be I give you an advice because the world of a of the great is very deceptive they arrive there and then they sit and they check to see if that craving has been satisfied and they find out painfully that like a drug who that will satisfy you for a short time and you are back to yourself that's why they get angry so all my labor of doing this and building that i thought it would give me that sense of significance and yet it does not give you anything what then satisfies these cravings if a car cannot really do it if a house cannot really do it all of those things carry with themselves little expressions we we call them feelings it's a word that we have invented to help us relate with the kind of energy or that that sense of pleasantness that is derived as a way of checking one of these six lists again i give you a car key you rejoice because something comes out from that car a feeling that i am successful a feeling that i am not a failure and when that feeling comes that's it one day you will be tired of the same car you once rejoiced about one day you will be tired of the same phone you are now holding and rejoicing about one day you will be tired of the same hair you are wearing now that gave you joy one day you will be tired can you imagine remember during the inaugural service here in koinonia remember how we rejoice over this beautiful place the excellence the ambience now we are tired of it and we are trusting god to go to another place I visited redeemed and i saw the one kilometer by one kilometer that was built and i thought to myself what was in baba's heart when this came then they got fed up and tired of it then they moved to three kilometer by three kilometer our father in the lord bishop david they are building the ark now remember for a long time he celebrated the fifty thousand capacity seater and one day that thing again he said let's go for the ark i can assure you by the god of heaven if christ tarries except age and other things but if christ tarries usually and every time he blesses people he will tell you that there is even a greater one coming why am i teaching you this because i want you to be both successful and fulfilled let's define fulfillment again that it is the satisfaction and the joy that is derived from knowing that you have lived your life effectively serving the purposes of the kingdom and being a blessing to humanity i've had the honor and the privilege by the grace of god to be around people who were diagnosed with terminal diseases or people who were they literally knew that they were on their way going i've had the honor of praying with them 
I've had some healed miraculously. But in all fairness, there are others that I prayed and I knew that probably these people, their time was up. And at that time, listen carefully, we have to borrow the mindset of a dying man to understand what fulfillment is about. Once you are not a dying man, you cannot really comprehend the wisdom behind seeking fulfillment. You have to borrow the thinking, the last minute of a man who is alive, who is transiting the earth. There is something about that wisdom you must capture. And that is what will help us tonight. What does a dying man look for? Imagine, don't be afraid, just imagine that God told you right now that by 12 midnight today, okay, you will be afraid of going to heaven, but he's coming. In any case, whether you are going or he's coming, you people must meet. Because I don't want you to say I'm confessing negatively, you know, believers, some, the way we think sometimes. But realistically, imagine that the Lord told you today that Joshua Selman, by 11.55, you are going home. Question. I know you have investments around the world. <laughs> I know you have all kinds of things. I know you plan to travel next week. I know you even plan to do a lot of things there. There's a TV interview somewhere. But what will become your point of focus with that knowledge? Just one information was passed to you that you have three more hours in this life. And that's it. Three more hours. Wrap up whatever you have to do. You have three hours. No prayer will change it. Three hours. You are not sicko and it's not going to be accident it will not be anything once it's time god knows the many ways he will pick you so that you don't fear but you just have three hours think for a moment what are you going to do remember your home your hometown is more than three hours so don't even think of running there think of something wiser that you will do three hours i'm about to share something else with you and then we'll pray that's why i'm asking you this question do you know i will tell you this i can give you an idea of what will happen to you hmm. in that moment i give you a guarantee nothing else matters nothing else counts I'm in the presence of my maker. Listen, when you are right there, you may think of your businesses. You may think of your investments. You may think of your certificates. You may think of your wife, you may think of your husband, you may think of your parents, you may think of your children. You may think of your future and your goals, your plans, your house under construction. You may think of the person owing you and the police case that is still pending. You will think of all of these things and yet you will be surprised that none of them at that point will be able to bring you satisfaction. Listen carefully. There is only one thing you will be looking for at that point when you stand with the consciousness that i have only three hours to live in this life there is only one thing you will look for it is called peace write it down hmm. john 14 27 the peace of god please write it down Everybody write it down. Peace when trouble blows. Jehovah sees. Jehovah knows. He's my peace. When trouble blows. Jehovah sees. Jehovah knows. Do you know? remember 
three hours to end your life and yet it is not another degree you want it is not another political office you want three hours it is timing by now it will be less than the three hours it is not whether you like it or not non-negotiable three hours then you will now have the wisdom to look for what you would have spent your entire life really looking for the thing you are looking for at the point of death is what you should find first in your life and have the privilege of enjoying it because i will tell you in that security in that variety in that significance in that acceptance in that sense of growth in that sense of achievement all of them are various ways of saying the same thing this is one thing you are looking for peace how come you only find it when you are hours to the end of your life whereas that is really what you need even from the start of your life and can you imagine that it is available even before you find any of these things that you can have it without a car you can have it without a child you can have it without a church and yet we ignore it but when you are about to go when every other thing fades you find out that is the real thing so when i crave for security what i am really looking for is peace hmm. when i crave for variety what i'm really looking for is peace when i crave for significance what i'm really looking for is peace when i crave for acceptance running away from trouble what i'm really looking for is peace when i crave for growth what i'm really looking for is peace i know you won't believe it if i tell you the reason why you are running around with your cv is that you are looking for peace you will say apostle you are wrong i'm looking for a job <laughs> you are right in your lifetime but back to my story few minutes to the end of your life you would discover that what you were really looking for was not a job that what you are looking for is not a travel abroad or a second citizenship when it's all been said and done there is just one thing that matters did i live my life to live for truth did i live my life for you when it's all been said and done all my treasures will mean nothing only what i've done for love's reward will stand the test of time lord your mercy is so great that you look beyond our weakness and find precious gold in married clay turning sinners into saints and i will always sing your praise here on earth and never after for you've shown me heaven's my true home when it's all been said and done you're my life when life john 14 and verse 27 listen to what jesus the wise has to tell you dear one who has been given the gift of life I live with you my peace I give to you not as the world give it give I unto you he said let not your heart be troubled neither let it be afraid I have given you something the fear that comes as a result of lack of a job 
I don't mean to get you emotional, but everybody who died in the train that was headed to Kaduna, by the time they left Abuja, they had plans. When they woke up that morning, they said, I will return back in the evening. And when I return, honey, I'm rushing down to Kaduna to do something quickly. I just want to check my building. And they did not know that they had three hours left. I know you may not see the wisdom in what I'm teaching you today. I'm not saying you will die. But I'm giving you wisdom that is greater than investments. Wisdom. Can I tell you this? It is a waste of time to suspend your pursuit for peace until you find a house. It is a waste of time to suspend your pursuit for peace until you have children. It is a waste of time to suspend your pursuit for peace until you have money. None of those things have the power to give you peace. I can tell you. They may carry with them expressions of conveniences that may minister security, may minister variety, but security, variety, significance, love and acceptance, growth and advancement, impact and contribution are psychological ways of looking for the same thing. Peace. Jesus said, I've given it to you. I don't give you when you finish your degree. I don't give you when you finish your masters. I don't give you when you finish your PhD. I don't give you when you become a professor. I don't give you when you are 60 years. Right where you are, before you even start your journey, you can carry the peace of God. When you find the house, is just an added advantage, but peace is there. Even if the house goes, your peace remains. As God grants you children, you are celebrating the children and dancing, but not without your peace. Can I tell you, no matter what you lose you did not lose if what you have left is peace but no matter what you gain hear me you really lost if you lost your peace on the way many of you start with that gift of peace you throw it away to look for a wife you throw it away to look for a husband you throw it away to look for a job you throw it away to look for ministry increase at the end of it watch what you have children a name a private jet money in your account in various currencies a political position titles qualifications no peace where did you keep it and you find out that you left it in 1980 you threw it when you began your journey looking for other things and at the end of your life you will say house give me fulfillment and how say it's not my assignment degree give me fulfillment it is not my assignment all of them will say my assignment is only to give you success once we help you to become successful our mission is finished in your life what then gives me fulfillment peace hear me the only thing that can give you fulfillment in your life is the peace that comes with knowing that you have lived your life effectively serving the purposes of god and being a blessing to humanity philippians chapter 4 and verse 7 philippians chapter 4 and verse 7 dearly beloved i hope you were blessed by this message do not keep the video to yourself share to as many as you can to help them bless check our home page for more of our messages, subscribe to the channel, comment on it, like it. See you on our next video. Bye. Pray. Pray. Pray for your destiny. The phase of development. Lord, grant me the discipline.